Welcome back to more Fay Farm, everybody. So, in the last episode, it was part two, and we actually made some more progress, mostly with like getting some animals and you know, just completing more quests, which is pretty good progress, I want to say. Um, so, in this video, one thing we have to do apparently is we have to get well, we have to get food, we have to collect food. Also, is this the same thing as wait, 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 wait. huckleberries? Oh, I can just get a bunch of huckleberries? Just like that, okay. It just gives you XP, I'll take it. Wasn't really expecting that, okay. Um, oh, and I got some additional things, okay. Yeah, I didn't know all that, okay. Well, what I need to do, let me get more of this Ar Aragula. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not, but that's okay. Um... Yeah, I'll grab these over here, too. Grab that. There we go. Okay. The main reason why is because I actually... I'm gonna go back now. So I have to purchase a potion from Vera. Which, that sounds, you know... Oh, nice! Catching efficiency increased again. I'm already at level 4 for that. That is amazing. I'm not really sure what catching efficiency means, so that's one thing that I was talking about in the last episode. I don't know if there's been already a comment about that, but I'm recording two videos back to back, which is why I haven't seen those comments yet, if there are any. But anyway, um, well, actually, I have to go to Vera. What am I doing? Okay, this map still confuses me a little bit, but if if you ever get lost, you should um, definitely use this mechanic here. Where the heck is Vera? Hold on. Hold on. What? Wasn't the potion... Wait, I'm thinking of something else then. Vera's over here, dude. What am I doing? I'm definitely getting her confused with somebody else. And I actually know who it was that I got confused with. Okay, okay, never mind. Vera can be found in here. Yes, this sounds familiar now. Okay. I'm right on your table. I'm on top of the table. Okay. Open shop. So, I think I'll just buy maybe the cheapest one. Uh, there. I bought a potion. And now we have to collect some food. So, by collecting food, I think it means cook it. Because it says prepare. Because, I mean, obviously I picked up some huckleberries and whatever. And that didn't actually do anything. It still says zero out of five, so I think I do have to prepare food. The thing is though, I already have food in my inventory. So I don't think it means food that you already have. You have to actually make food. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Then we'll put, oh actually, what the heck? I can do these. So that's what, three? If I do two here? Will that work? Let's see. Yeah, now it says one. Okay. So yes, that's that was correct. Okay, and then one more. Um, I guess I'll put all of these in there. Sure. You know what? Let's just do that too. Okay, so now I can return to Cleo. But let me make sure that she didn't move. Uh, where's Cleo actually? You here? Yeah, you are. Alright, let's jump down. Can I just swim? I'm trying to see if there's any like workarounds, you know? Uh, that was hardly a workaround because it still took me forever. Yeah, so Cleo is appearing oh, over here now. That's redeemed. It's time for a preparation inspection, Delta Shiny. Let's see. Potions, food, yep, you're all equipped. I think you can handle it from here. This key to the saltwater mines is yours now. Before you go running off, though, I've got another thing or two to teach you about exploring dangerous dungeons. 
So a dungeon is what we adventurers call any large and potentially risky place you might want to venture through. You can leave a dungeon anytime you like, but when you return you'll have to work your way through all the levels you've already explored, unless you make some dungeon seals as you go. I'll teach you how if you've got a minute. You're not busy with anything, right? So a dungeon seal is a bit of a mechanical magic that lets you revisit a specific floor of a dungeon directly, without having to explore the floors above first. A little magic, a little crafting ingenuity, and you have yourself a bona fide shortcut. All you need is the copper to make one, and guess where that is? In the dungeon. Keep in mind that you have to place dungeon seals in order. Place one on the first level down, then on the second, and so on. So why don't you try making a dungeon seal? You'll craft it in the seal crafting station. If you don't already have one, you can probably construct one pretty easily. Pick up copper ore, craft and place a seal. Okay. Uh, got it. Alright, so let's go to the dungeon. Where exactly do I go to the dungeon? Does it tell me over here? What the hell? There's more like... There's more stuff here. Jeremiah? All these people have quests for me, huh? Well, I suppose I could go and accept. That's more uh, tea leaves, okay. Here's Jeremiah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to talk to you about the quest. Not so bad. Say now. One more to another. Have you been experimenting with soil beds and fertilizers? Don't you worry now. I'll take you through it. You know how different produce is only available during certain seasons? Now, what Now, what do you think would happen if you could always have spring soil? You've got it. You'll be able to grow spring produce year-round. You've got smart nature herself. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you can start playing with fertilizers. Some of them can speed up growing, some can increase your yield, and some, if you believe it, even have a chance to transform your crop into something else entirely. If you're ready for it, why don't you try out your hand at fancy farming with fertilizers? Place one bounty its fertilizer on crops. Good, good now. Tell you what, I'll give you this bounty as fertilizer to test out. Go on and add it to one of your veggie beds and see what happens. Okay. Well, that's cool. Now that's one quest. Um, let me go this way. That's actually... Yeah, how do I go into the mine? Does this thing tell me? Saltwater mines. Okay, it's over there. To the bottom right corner. That's going to have to be a thing for tomorrow, though, because it's... Well, we'll see. It's 8.20 p.m. That's Cleo. Uh, there's a lot of quests, though, to accept. Well, Frida's, yeah, but I meant pearls. Okay, so pearl. Hello, pearl. Back again, huh? You look ready to level up your selling game. Now that you've got the stock, you can invest in produce stands. The more stands means more space to sell more profit. Yes, that's what I thought. Are you curious to know how to level up your selling game, huh? Unlock a produce stand. Oh, you didn't tell me how to do it, though. I knew we were going to the same cloth. All you need to do is buy a produce stand for me. It will appear on your farm the next day. That's the service I'm happy to provide. Hey, you need, you need to spend some, some money to make money, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, my God. Eight slots to sell items at the starting farm. Takes one day to build. Should I do it? I mean, I guess. It's tied to a quest anyway. I have to do these things eventually. I may as well just do it now. Okay. Um, so now we're looking at East Town Rosalind. There's a lot of quests now. They're finally starting to, you know, pop up everywhere. Aquamarine Seal. It's seeing those seals like everywhere, huh? No, no, no. I'm trying to get this thing. There we go. I'm on top of the buildings. Oh my god, I saw a stamina thing up there. Like literally on top of the building. That's so funny. Alright, hello you. Quest. Oh my, what an exceptional specimen. Well, specifically speaking about the flowers, you seem rather exceptional as well. Anyone can be exceptional given the right parameters. For instance, I'm Rosalind, botanist and primary consultant on all matters pertaining to horticulture. <laughs> uh, plant growing, I mean. I've heard that you, Delta Shiny, are an exceptionally talented problem solver. An excellent inquiry, I'm currently intending to breed a floral species that would be completely unique to this island. 
The question remains, how does one go about combining plants to create a new type of flora? If the topic interests you, I would be willing to review the basics of combining plant traits with you. you grow a pink flower? Splendid! Let's start with the fundamentals. What do you hypothesize will happen if two fully grown flowers of different pigmentation were to cross-pollinate? A new color, correct? So, if we were to plant a red rose, leave a space, and implant a white zinnia, we should, with a little luck, see a new pink flower grow between them. In order to complete the experiment, you'll need to procure two flowers of different colors and a flower bed to place them in. Return when you've seen the results and we can repeat them together. God damn, that sounded complicated. Okay. Um, we'll grab this common toe. Oh, that's a new one. Interesting. Alright, do I have any space? Uh, I should probably try and see if I do. I'll grab these also, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to fall in the water. I keep seeing more of these everywhere. Let's take that one too. Okay, I don't even know where I am. I already lost my... I'm in the very left? What the heck? Dude, where am I? Common Moth. Man, these things move fast. Alright, it's already 10-11pm, so I do actually need to uh, hurry this up. Dude, I do not know where I am. It says north. Damn, I definitely lost my sense of orientation there, like, really badly. Wait, what the heck? Dude, I'm just trying to... This, this cannot be this r ridiculous. Dude, what the... Oh my god, I can't even get over there. Okay, where the heck am I? Did I make it? Oh my god, I finally made it. That, that was so stupid. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of those. Probably not. Small potion of healing, we'll keep that. Grilled greens. Toasted berries. Yeah, we'll get rid of all that stuff. And then we'll put some more stuff in here. I'm getting a lot of bugs. Oh my god, it's, it's freaking ladybugs. There's a bunch of those. And that's all I can put. I already filled up the whole thing. Hopefully it's a pretty decent amount of money, though. Alright, so here's the thing. Um, I need to plant... Oh, that's gonna have to wait, I think. Yeah. take this. Nice. Plus one baker's dozen. Egg. Oh, okay. It right, says so cooked egg. Whoa. Oh, made it to midnight. Produce stand acquired. I got 322. Most of it is from critter catching. Oh, yeah. I also have to try to make some, uh, some furniture, that's right. There's just so many quests to do now. Well, let's see. What can I build? Can I build anything? Rustic stool. Comforting, cozy item. So, because the quest specifically... Talked about... So many in progress, huh? Those are ready to redeem. Oh, I already reached friends with... Okay, cool. Reach a cozy count of at least five. That says relaxing. Beach log and that, okay. Yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, I can definitely... Let's see, let's do this. 
But like, how do you know your level? Nothing really happened there. Like, I know I already have that one. Beverage station. Should I do this? That's not really doing anything. I'm not really sure. The quest doesn't really explain much, I don't think. It says one. So I guess I have to make five items. That... I don't know. I really don't know. There's a lot of undiscovered items though, so that's gonna have to wait then. Until later. Okay. Well, let's get out of here then. They're total shiny. You already know how to take care of Dorans. Just walk up with your staff and press those smack until those appear. But you know, a staff's more than just for digging out magical obstacles. You can use it to defeat jumbles too. Jumbles are leftover things that nobody wants, brought to life by magic. They get bored and angry, and sometimes they even attack people. But if you can defeat them in magical combat, they'll return to the Aether. Well, if you feel ready for some of that, just keep exploring deeper in the mines. Though if I were you, I might go see Drac the Battlemaster first. He could show you how to really wall up those jumbles. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. That's not what I wanted to do. Give me this. Okay. Alright, so we definitely have to... Upgrade all of these. Oh, look at that. Nice. Got some decent experience there. So I was also talking about like... Uh, she was talking about some flower beds. I have to make flower beds first. So I would have to make three, I think, and then get a red and a white. Let's see what I can make here. Basic soil. Uh, crafting, fencing. Soil for growing flowers. Oh, but I can't do this yet because I need some other items first. Okay. Hmm. What the? I'm trying to talk to you, the pet. Not smack whatever I was doing. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, look at that. There's an egg. We'll take the egg. And some raw cotton. Yeah, you can't put more than one, right? No. You can only do one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, um... Oh yeah, so apparently now I can put stuff in here. Yeah, this thing. And like ship this stuff. So that's pretty cool also that I can do that. Um, like you can put that in there. Roasted roots. Those actually sell for some pretty decent cash. I think I'll do that. Flutter dust, just only have one. Beach log, sand. I'll get rid of three of those. How about that? Okay. That's fine. Okay, it's time to get out of here. We can't do the flower stuff yet. That's going to have to wait until later. Honestly, I think I should just go to the mine. Well, actually, I'll take that back. I should try to complete the quest first with people. So, what is it, Frida and, oh, there's another quest over there too with Drac. Yeah, because the quest with Pearl and Frida, yeah, so they're both done, okay. Let's go in here. Okay. You look chipper. That's why I'm always funny. I'm all about your new friend. I'd love to hear it. They sound just lovely. Anything else? I'm so happy for you. I have a feeling you'll build lots of relationships. 
Nice. Okay, well that quest is done. That's good to know. Let's get out of here. And then the other one is... I'll talk to you. You know, just to make friends. Okay, where you at? Pearl. You're more on the left? Okay. Here you are. Look at you, remember when you sell things at the market stand, you can only get profits the next day. It's called passive income. Keep on selling like this, you might be a chairperson one day. Huh. Okay. What else do you have for sale? Nothing else. Just a bunch of designs and stuff, which I don't really care for too much. Alright, so I redeemed both of those. That's good. Now we can finally head over to the mine and just kind of see how things go. I don't know if it's going to be difficult or easy. No clue. I'm going to leave that. these behind. Actually, I'll take those, these at least because I can cook these and make some more money. I just don't want to, um, like, I don't know how many items I'm going to find. Oh, actually, I should probably get rid of some of these. Now that I think about it, I should do that. Um, because I might find a huge variety of items, and if I do, I definitely don't want to, um, run out of space and be forced to, like, leave and go back in again. It's gonna be a little ridiculous if that's what I have to do. So I think what I should do is all the stuff that I can cook, I'm definitely gonna, you know, put them in here. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, just put them all in there, and then some of the other stuff I can actually ship them, or put them in the stands. It's the same thing, shipping, you know what I mean, it's Harvest Moon terminology. Alright, put that in there. Um, I'll put these, I don't know if I should put more, well, I'll fill it up I guess. I think that should be fine. Because like, I can put more over here. Thing is, I know there's a pretty good use. Yeah, you know what? Let's just put all these in there. Yeah, we'll put those in there at least. And then... We should probably organize this. Yeah, bug juice seems pretty rare, which is why I'm trying to keep it. I mean, all these items, really. Like raw cotton, I don't know what I'm going to do with that either. Okay. Hello, Jack. Gift friend. Fruits. What the heck? You start giving gifts to people? Ginger. Okay, now we should be in a good position to go. I don't know where it, where it is, but... I'm sure I'll figure it out soon. Saltwater mine is this way. Oh, it's in there. This is where it's at. Let's do it. Okay, saltwater mines, level one. That is a lot of stuff. Okay, what is this? Copper seal. It says craft and place a seal crafting station. Okay. So let's see, is this stone? This is stone, right? Yeah, so that's stone, that's the same. What are, what are these ones? Just clay? Okay, that's nothing important either. So these all look the same. These look different though, what are these? This looks like ore. Whoa. It was coal and I got... I cover the switch to unlock the door or place a dungeon seal in the teleporter. Hmm. 
Yeah, so that's coal. That's a new thing. Where, where are the enemies, though? We're still talking about enemies? I remember they were, so I'm sure I'll get to it in a little bit. Yeah, that's like all just coal. Let's uncover the switch to unlock the door or place a dungeon seal in the teleporter. What do you mean by a switch? Like, there's a switch hidden underneath one of these things? Maybe that's what it's talking about. I mean, the thing is, though, there isn't any copper in this floor, so I do have to get to the second floor. Oh, look at that. The door on this floor is now open. Okay, let's try going to the next one. Copper seal. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a sec. No, see, that's clay. I thought those were actually different because the rock looks different, but I don't think so, right? No, it's the same thing. Okay. Okay, copper should be those things over there. I see one up there. Let's also look this way. I'm at least getting all these muscles here. I figured I should at least, you know, do that. I can cook these and make more money eventually, so that's pretty good. Okay, that's two copper. I need only 13 more. Oh my god. That's it? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so the other one was hidden under sand. Does that mean that it's going to be hidden under sand as well? Let's see. Or is it going to be any? I have no idea. I have no clue. Okay, digging efficiency went up. That sounds like good stuff. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to pick up the muscle. Dude! Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if that was just dumb luck on the previous floor, or if it always is underneath the sand. It, it, the game didn't really explain that. It just says there's a switch somewhere. So I don't know if that means you literally have to try to hit every single rock until you got lucky and then find the switch. Or if it's specifically under sand. Here's the last sand, I think. Okay, it looks like it is under sand every time. I don't know. I still don't know for sure. It could be bad or could be good luck. I don't know. We'll see. You got level 3. There better be a lot of ore here. I need a lot of copper ore. Also, I don't know what kind of things they're talking about when they say enemies. Like, I haven't seen a single enemy yet. So I have to prioritize copper ore. That's the important thing. Please let there be more than just one. Oh god, that's all that there was. Just one. Only one per floor? Seriously? That's a little ridiculous, but okay. Well, at least we kind of believe that it's going to be under sand. I mean, I hope I'm right about that. Again, it could just still be that I'm getting insane luck and that it's under sand in the previous two floors, but... Nothing there. My god, getting copper ore is extremely slow. There we go. Any more muscles? I don't think so. Yeah, so it seems like it is under sand. I think it's good to assume that it is. There's no way my luck can be that crazy, right? 
Is that an enemy? Uh, the answer is yes, that is an enemy. What'd I get? Iron ore times one. Nice. Okay, well we have to keep trying to get this specifically. We're looking for copper ore. I am trying to get... Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me, dude. That's definitely a glitch, I think. Yeah, that's, that's a glitch. You literally can't. There's not a single pixel. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's, that's bad. Whatever. Uh, okay, at least we're finding this here. Okay, so I gotta switch to the the magic staff thing. They give iron ore, which I'm sure that'll be useful for later. Yes, okay, there's plenty of this now. So, floor four is where this starts. Oh my god, it's already 9.30? That's crazy. We gotta be fast here. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna make the next floor regardless, but I don't think I have to, but we'll see. I do want to reach at least 15 copper ore, though. Oh, what the hell? I found a switch. Don't do that. I was trying to make you pick up the muscle. Okay, any more copper? Yes. This will make me go to 15. And I, I guess I'll hit this. I mean, why not? Whoa, it's a combo attack. Okay, I guess we can turn back now. It's... yeah, it should be fine. I got all the stuff that I needed. Okay, how do I get out? Do I just... do I have to run back through every single floor? Let's see. Okay, thank you. I was about to say, if they made you go back to every floor, it's gonna be like, Oh, that should have been looked at <laughs> during development. Well, we'll find more muscles here. But good job, developers. I've only found one bug so far, and that's that muscle thing that was, if it's trapped in between two rocks, it's like the game prioritizes the rocks, and there's not a single pixel available where you can actually pick up the muscle. Firefly. Oh, look. We got some energy, some stamina. I mean, I feel like you should wait until midnight every day because there's no there's no penalty. Like you still wake up at six a.m. You know. Oh wow. Okay, it's already it's eleven thirty. Oh boy. This is a uh, let's see. How do I do this? Seal crafting station. Where should I put it? It's gonna be uh Yeah, it's bedtime. It's fine. I'll i I'll take that stuff there again. Damn, time pass is freaking quick, it feels. I made 238, okay, that's not bad. I still don't think I can do anything else, like, make me more things, but... Yeah, that's okay. I'll figure all that out later. It's not a big deal. Alright, give me all this. Oh, shoot. I have to go sell some stuff, huh? Okay. Let's get rid of, I mean, pretty much whatever we find here. Those I can cook, I believe, so I'll definitely do that. As for selling... Yeah, it's gonna be all these dishes. Twenty-five of them, and then eighteen of these. I'll take those. And we can actually sell two more of those in here. 
All right. So anyway, I was trying to build a little station over here, but I'm going to cut some of this grass out of here. That way I can just kind of organize everything where I need to, you know, put them. Oh, shoot. I'll put it right there. Okay. Use. Copper seal. Okay, so I'm going to need to put a bunch of these. Oh my god, iron seal. Let's make one of them. And looks like it'll take some time. Okay, well in the meantime, let me go take care of my animals. Okay, we'll take those two. Put your plant fodder in there. I should probably pet them too, though. That would be a good idea. Oh, you can brush too. It says brush. Hmm. You got 25 XP for doing that. No, no, no. I'm trying to, um... Yeah, that issue's happening again. See, it happened in the with the muscle in the dungeon, and now it's happening here with the pet. The game basically prioritizes certain things with the input button. Like in here, it's prioritizing, the, there we go, that over the pet, so I couldn't do anything to the pet. So you'll run into those problems a lot, I feel, throughout the game, but I mean, there's not really much you can do. Hopefully the, the developers patch that, though. Okay, we got that one. Those are, they're getting there. I'll leave them there for now. Um, I do need to water these, oops. Out of water, okay. We'll fill it up again, and then come over here. Okay, perfect. And now, let's see. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to take them over here. We can take all of these. That's a good amount of experience. And I guess I'll take what I have at the moment. Nice. Cooking level four. Okay. So I have to return to Cleo, of course, to get my rewards. But let me also come down here and... Ship a bunch of stuff once again, make that money. Those all sell for 10. I don't, I don't mind doing that, just, you know. This will give me a plenty of money over time. Damn, those will sell for 23 actually, that's a lot better. Um, and then just the berries actually, yeah. There we go. Oh, I didn't even put the eggs. That's okay. Alright, so let's go to Cleo. Cleo is going to be found specifically where? To the left? Okay. Alright, redeem. Welcome back. That sweat on your, blow, on your brow tells me that you've been working hard. Well, look at that. You made a seal. Well done, fellow adventure. Soon you'll be slipping through those dungeon levels like a spring peeper through a grease trap. Now, I know the mayor went ahead and included a set of basic tools with your home, but I'm sure you'd like to upgrade them at some point. Yes, please. The mayor mentioned it, but never followed up. Wow, that sounds a lot like our mayor. Whoa, you got some shade right there, huh? Hmm. Sounds like you and the mayor got to resolve some issues that you're not being direct, you know, confronting each other. Hmm. Let me walk you through it. Using better materials can make the work easier, give a higher yield, or even work on some objects that are too hard for the more basic tools. I'm glad you asked. You can visit our local blacksmith, Cinder. She can craft you anything as long as it can provide the materials. Surely you don't expect her to have the time to mine metals and also be the only blacksmith in town? No, that would be silly. How about I give you a little challenge? I want to see you upgrade your pickaxe to copper. You'll need to mine the copper from the saltwater mines, but it'll be worth it. 
If you try to buy an upgrade from Cinder, she'll be able to tell you what she'll need to get it done. Go on, then go upgrade your pickaxe to copper. Oh, and one last thing, don't go below the 15th floor, just don't. Craft and place Stone Forge. Upgrade to at least a copper pickaxe from Cinder. Wait, why do I have to... Okay, okay, hold on. I thought she... What does the Stone Forge have anything to do with this? Let's see. We're gonna go... Uh, where's she at? I always forget this. Somewhere to the right, right? Did I talk to her already today? No, I didn't. Okay, over here. Uh, open shop. Oh, I see. Copper ingot. That's why. Okay. I mean, Cleo didn't mention that. To me, it just seemed to use the copper and give it to Cinder, and then she makes you the tool. But no. Okay, you have to come over here, convert it to an ingot first, and then go to Cinder. Alright. Uh, alright. Let's see here. Stoneforge. For Stoneforge, I need more stone. Wow, I got exactly 10 coal. That is insane. And kind of lucky, too. So yes, let me go ahead and gather the stone first. Mmm, I'm just looking for stone, really. Here's some more. Okay, is there more on this side? I don't actually see any more. Um, I need three more. Where do I get more stone? Well, I mean, obviously I know one. Okay, also, what are these for? So now that I know I can put seals in here, like, cool, you know, but I'm not really sure what that's going to... Is that like a warp point to that particular area? That, it might be. It actually might be. Okay, well, yeah, I'm kind of just running around like an idiot right now. I shouldn't even be doing that. Um, yeah, we should just go, what the hell? Oh, shoot. Woven basket. Nice. What the heck? Dude, I can't see. Thank you. Yeah, so I think that's the only place to get stone. I don't see any other place where I'd be able to get stone. So I should probably run over there then. Okay. Oh wait, I can get stone here. So I'll give it three more. What the hell? Hello, Miles. Okay. Yeah, because I would like to upgrade my pickaxe before I go back into the mines, you know, again, since I do feel like that's a good decision. That way I can mine things faster, probably. So let's make sure we do that. So, okay, now I have the stone. I should be able to... Go right back in here. Make the... Stone Forge. I'll just place it right there, right next to it. Nice. Okay, and then we can... Oh, I can't, huh? Damn it! I actually need a lot more copper and coal. Oof. Oof. I mean, I can see the, the difficulty of it now. It's gonna get pretty grindy. Oh, I just saw something. It's gonna get pretty grindy. Kind of like my time at Porsche. Also, I'm sure you guys know this, but my time at Sandrock is coming out on Switch very soon. I think early November. Originally, it was actually September 26th, so this month. Which is why I was a little worried, because there were, there's so many farming games coming out this month, like, it's insane. Rune Factory 3, obviously, it came out earlier. Fae Farm. And then Harvest Moon, The Winds of Anthos. I also want to play this game called Paleo, Paleo Pines. It comes out on September 26th, which is the same day. And then the other thing, too, was the, um, was that one, my time at Santa Rock, and I was like, shoot. 
like they're all coming out at the same freaking time, you know, and I was getting a little worried, but luckily they delayed my time at Santa Rocks. That's like the only time I'll ever hear somebody say, oh yeah, luckily they delayed that game. Because usually you don't want them to. But I guess for my sake and uploading YouTube content, that was good. Because I do want to cover at least Harvest Moon, the Winds of Anthos. Uh, okay, we're going to do this. Floor 1 Pedestal activated. Door unlocked. Resource chances. You have no floors available to teleport to. Okay. But yeah, so you have to go in order, like I was saying. Um, okay, so we have to mine some coal. I mean, I can just go to the next floor, it's fine. Yeah, but it's very well worth it to do this, to really focus on these things, because... Um, you really want to create shortcuts, you know? Lessen the time. Uh, so whatever I find here... Let's see, anything... I'm looking for specifically copper ore. But I don't see any. That's not good, okay. I mean, well... I mean, one time I did find a switch under one of the copper nails, so it really gives me the impression that the switch is just going to be found, like, eventually by a random chance. Mining efficiency plus one. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. So, like, I'd rather start hitting things that, um, that I need more resources up to at least, you know, kind of like... Yeah, see, look at that. So I think you just eventually get it. Like, just by chance, like, maybe every time you hit something, like, anytime you break a, a rock or hit a sand pile, there's a percentage of getting the switch underneath and, then, and like, the odds go up every time. Maybe that's the formula? I'm not really sure. But it doesn't seem like it's only under certain specific things, you know? Okay, yes, this is what I need. Yeah, I don't know what the mining efficiency increases means. Like, I'm not getting more resources per item, you know, per deposit. I'm also not mining faster. I mean, I'm sure it does something. Okay, we got the switch. Is there any more over here? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's go through. And that one's also a copper, so I need a lot of copper. I have between making between upgrading my tool and getting all these seals. Ooh, I got a rough citrine. citrine. Okay, let's hit all the copper. It's already 6.30, man, the days are going by fast. Okay, two more there. We'll take this muscle over here. I may need to hit more coal though, I'm not really sure. So I will definitely hit some more of these coal deposits because I don't remember how much I needed. Seems like I should kill the enemies too though because the enemies do give you iron ore and you're eventually going to want some of the iron uh, seals I'm assuming. Okay. That one, I saw the enemy here, yep. Wait, that one gave me coal. What the heck? Oh, by the way, it seems like you can hold the button, I just realized. Like, I'm just holding the A now. I was mashing it before, but that's cool that you can just hold it. I didn't even realize that. Okay, I'll break this one, plus the copper on the left, and I'll move on to the next floor, I guess. I'll grab that too. There we go. 
Okay, next room. I think this is the furthest room I had made it to. Do I still need more copper ones here? Hammer copper seal. That's a new type, okay. I wonder how many more I should do, because it's already 8.30. Oh, I can hide that hint, by the way. I don't need to keep it there. Dude, that one gave me iron ore. Okay. Okay, I think that should be good enough. I don't think I need to go to the next floor. Right now it's already 9 o'clock, so... Yeah, let's just go back. We got a good amount of items here. That was a good trip to the mine. Okay. Uh, let's run all the way back now. So hopefully Cinder is there, but she might not be. Well, actually, no. I think she should be because sometimes they close their businesses at um, 10 o'clock from what I noticed. Yeah. Oh wait, but I have to make that ingot first. Oh Jesus, I'm not gonna be able to do this right. It's oh, a good amount of resources, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it today. Yeah, because by the time I get over here... And make it, yeah, no, there's no way. That's okay though, it's not really a big deal. Oh, I can make glass, clay brick, stone brick. Nice, that'll be useful for later, I guess. So did I need one copper ingot? I think it was one. Hmm. Yeah, I just put those in there. Um, what should I do now just to end this day? I guess this. Again, like I said, generally you want to go until midnight. So you do want to try to at least get, you know, some XP and whatever it is. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I didn't know I was there. Oh, it's telling me to use the item because my stamina is so low, but I don't need to. Like, I'm fine. What happens if you run out of stamina? I'm actually curious. Oh, you just can't do anything else. Okay, I see. Alright. I wasn't sure if there's gonna be like a penalty or something, you know? Okay, now I think it's time... ...to go to bed. I mean, I drain my stamina, not much else I can do. I'm gonna hold to sleep. How much money did I get? I think it was a good amount, actually. 455? I thought it would be a little more. I was guessing like 700 for whatever reason, but... Okay. That's fine, man. This game is really fun. It's very addicting. God damn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take that. Ooh, I can make another... I can make more of those. I actually should. But, okay. Hold on, hold on. Before I go around making more... I actually want to make sure that that really is all I needed, like just one copper ingot. So let me go to let me go to her first, to Cinder, just to make absolute sure, you know that. Oh, actually, I should take care of my animals too. Food, penning, brushing, and then fresh air. Very nice. Okay, let's go in here. Yeah, there's still thorns on the right side. I haven't even explored over there yet. There's just so much to do that I've been focusing, you know, on certain things and not others. It's backpack full. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's not good. I should have deposited some stuff over here first. I also really appreciate that the loading is not bad in this game. God, because that would have been such a nightmare having to deal with terrible loading. Um, I mean, that's about all I can do for now. We'll fill that one up. Yeah, but money, making money early on, I think the best bet is to just make recipes. Cook stuff, that way you get your cooking up, and you can also be making some recipes at the same time. 
which you know sounds pretty good. I also need to get another backpack expansion very soon because I am running into problems again with that. Oops. Okay. Um, but yeah, very soon I have to end this video. Let me just put whatever I can in here. Okay, that one's full. Iron ore, coal, yeah, we gotta keep all that stuff. Three ladybugs, two of them. Perfect, I actually got rid of a good amount. I'm not sure what that's gonna be for, but I'll figure it out later. Alright, so I filled up all of that as much as I could. Let's also go in here. Open shop. Yeah, so you just press upgrade. So it only, that's it? Only 100? Let's do it. Your tool is upgraded. Hello. Have you spoken with the mayor yet? She works really hard to take care of the town. Oh, wait, I thought that was part of it. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was like important dialogue. You need two iron ingots, 500 florins. Okay. Wait, I should have just done the, I'm so freaking stupid. That's fine, I need to upgrade all my tools anyway. Let me go and make another one. Because I think from all of those, the axe and the pickaxe are the most important, right? Because the axe I'm going to need to eventually get that better wood that I couldn't before. So like, basically this one. Like, can I do it now? Yes, I can. See? So it's good that I did this. What the hell? Okay. But yeah, so I'm going to actually make another um, iron ink, or copper ingot, sorry. But just one more. I don't need to focus on the other tools yet. I think that's fine. Um, we'll take those. Okay, I mean... Yeah, see, look at that. That's a good upgrade right there. But, alright. Uh, so that means that what I should do then is focus on this, and I can use the rest of my copper to make three more of these. That means that next episode I'm going to be talking to Cinder first and upgrade the pickaxe. That way I can have a little bit of an easier time in the mine. I think that's a good idea. Okay, I'll take that. How long does this take? Almost, almost. Okay, let's just wait it out then. Alright, collect the item. Alright, we're going to upgrade the big axe, but that's going to be for next time. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.